Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with my good friend, Sister Shana. Peace and blessings, Sister. Good to see you. Grace and peace. Yes. Everything good? <laughs> Everything blessed. Cool, cool, cool. We had a, a, a interesting, uh, well, fantastic conversation on the Mojo a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. A couple of weeks ago, and we thought we'd continue uh, the day, the night on, on Spotlight about culture, history, and a whole series of things, uh, social cohesion, civic responsibility, birthright, citizenship, mm -hmm. uh, and reparations. Well, I know we have time to get through all we, of them. We, uh, yeah, because <laughs> it looks like we, um, we are already under the 30 of the clock. Already. Mm, yeah. But um, you're doing a project. You, mm -hmm. you, this, this all came about um, through a project that you're doing at, in college. Yeah, currently I'm taking the Virgin Islands history class mm -hmm. up at uh, HLS. And it's been very interesting. We actually have a group project that we have to do. And the topic that we chose was um, looking at the issue of knowledge of Virgin Islands history and how it affects national pride in a society. Mm -hmm. So as part of the project now, we had to do research and we decided to do that through a survey that we have out there. It's actually out there now on um, BVI News. If you go on the homepage, it's in the right-hand column. So persons can go from tonight. It's going to be up until the weekend um, and they can give their responses in regards to the different questions that we're asking about. So we could probably start talking about some of those and then go into the other topics. Okay. So, the, the, well, what, what is, is, this, is this a survey monkey? Uh, yeah, it's a link on BVI News that takes you to the survey monkey survey. Oh, okay. Then that's the only place you could get, um, get on that. Yeah, for now. For now. Um, and then for what we're also going to do is print out some paper copies. So for mm -hmm. persons who don't have internet access, they'll be able to still fill it out and then we'll input the data so we're able to, to catch their responses and, and as well. And what are you trying to find out? Well, one of the things that we were discussing in class, or of the many things, like the class is very interesting. And what we're looking at is, you know, does the fact that you don't know as much of your VA history as you should, does it affect whether or not you're proud um, or patriotic as a Virgin Islander? So the questions um, ask about, you know, how would you rate your knowledge of Virgin Islands history? Uh, how would you rate your national pride? A question else also there is, um, do you think we're losing our VA culture? And how or what do you think we should be doing to, to preserve it and make sure that it's passed on through the generations? Okay. One of the things um, I found... Have I, you done your survey? No, I haven't done my survey. Okay, you have to Sunday. <laughs> I realize you didn't do a survey, right? you're asking the questions that like you need to show. <laughs> I haven't done the survey. Okay, right? good. But one of the things I have found uh, in, in the presentation of history, mm -hmm. our history in particular, Virgin Island history in particular, mm -hmm. is that we don't present it in a way that it engenders the, uh, national pride and, 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 and love mm -hmm. and appreciation of the, the culture that we had mm -hmm. and how we, and, and, and the genius, and the genius and ingenuity mm -hmm. uh, that our forefathers had in, in, in forging mm -hmm. a life for us post uh, uh, emancipation, emancipation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I think that's one of the things where to remember we were talking on the on Umoja where when we talk about history you know history is about the chronological events and Virgin Islands history actually starts from a thousand BC where we had the Amerindians um, established communities here and brings us all the way up to modern day and when we talk about culture we're talking about the way of life Right. And you know how, and how we often persons confu and, we often confuse and I think too. we confuse it too because right. the, and that's one of the things like you're saying in terms of the information how it's being presented. It's sometimes we use history and culture as one and the same, yeah. and it's not. So I think that's one of the things where we we need to really have a comprehensive um, discussion as well as documentation of our history to say, well, this is Virgin Islands history. I could pick up this book because somebody actually. Um, text me when I send them the survey afterwards and was asking, you know, where can I get a book on VA history? You know, and I told them, as far as I'm aware, there's no comprehensive book because even for the class, it's not necessarily a textbook. And I'm going to say yet because it is something that's needed where 
you know, if I'm as a Virgin Islander or a visitor or, you know, it, it needs to be more than just a little couple paragraphs in the BVI welcome that's saying this is a Virgin Islands history. Well, it, it needs to be more than um, some books, um, with, um, individual books written by various art, um, mm -hmm. uh, Virgin Islands authors. Uh, you would like to go to a, a, a history book a comprehensive something. and find everything that you mm -hmm. want to know in a one location instead of having to go around and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and pick up little bits and pieces here and there. Yeah. But what I'm, what I'm talking about specifically is like how I was taught history generally in school, mm -hmm. it was a boring subject. Okay. N names and dates and places mm -hmm. and people. So you didn't get the story. I ain't getting the story. <laughs> I was, you know, and so the, in, 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 in 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered... Mm -hmm. He showed the, up. The, the, he discovered the Virgin Islands mm -hmm. and he met Caribs in Arax. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and that's it. And, and then there was a transatlantic, transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. uh, Africans got, came to the New World and I, I, I had no connection yeah. to none of that stuff at all. Mm -hmm. I had no connection to the Africans. Mm -hmm. um, Columbus was well, sounded like a, a, a semi-hero almost mm -hmm. in the fact that he was able to, to it's do... It's a good thing he came. <laughs> it's a good thing he came. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The best thing that happened to me was Christopher Columbus coming to the Virgin mm -hmm. Islands. Mm -hmm. you know? So it, it, sh it, it was presented in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that you had no connection to you it as a, as a Virgin Islands. You couldn't relate to it. Yeah. No, no, mm -hmm. no. And, 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 and when I know that I'm able to, an to analyze, the, I, be I become a thinker, mm -hmm. uh, I could look at I look at the ties that we made. Mm -hmm. When I look at the, 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 the builders, the carpenters, the farmers, the fishermen, the society mm -hmm. on a whole, the and, 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 and what we continue to leave out are, are the values yeah. that we had. Mm -hmm. You know? And when I look at those things it it, it, it's, it tells of the genius the creativity mm -hmm. of, of, of our people. Now, that makes me proud. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what made me proud. Not, not that, not that um, my, um, my father was a, 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 a house builder, mm -hmm. but that he was able to go in the ground and get rocks and mm -hmm. put them together in a way to build houses. And, yeah. And, and, and that's something now where that's a highly um, valued skill. Still. Yes. You know, because it's and something where they, we just did that, our forefathers just did that as a matter of survival. And now, you know, if you want to get a, 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 a stone wall built yeah. at your house, you have to pay a lot of money a, for a that. A lot of money for it. Yeah. And, and, and when you go to the, to the HLSEC and you go to the Marine Center mm -hmm. and you see the tools that were made by hand. Mm -hmm. To build, to, 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 build boats, to build the boats. To build yeah. the boats. Mm -hmm. That's that's genius. Oh, yeah. But we don't, we, don't, we don't think of it as, you know, just, them just some old tools. Mm -hmm. They ain't just some old tools. Yeah. That's the creativity and the genius in the minds of our forefathers. Mm -hmm. That's where the pride comes from. And that's one of the things where, well, since we've been working on this project, that I'm really understanding in terms of the importance of the national identity. Mm -hmm. You know, describing who we are. It's, you know, so it started where we now have a territorial song that's starting to tell the story. The, the dress... Um, the raising of the flag and even with that too again in the schools we need to educate the, the students as far as how this flag came about what this flag represents and is it really reflective of us because right now new zealand is actually they had a, a flag competition as far as you know looking at we need a flag that represents us mm -hmm. because i think they were still they still had the union jack on on their on flag their so it's things that, you know, looking at all aspects of our, our community, our society, and seeing, you know, what is the national identity of us as Virgin Islanders, and preserving that yes. to hand on as heritage from generation to, to generation. generation. But, and, 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 and I want to take a look at the values because we're not going to go back to cooking <clears throat> on tree rocks. No. Uh, even kerosene stove. Well, except during hurricane. <laughs> yeah, well, I should not say that. Yeah. I, I should not say we're we, we not going to go back to Coca Cola Tree Rocks because we really can't tell. No, yeah. We don't know for sure. That's yeah. a real bad statement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but if we have to, we need, we should be, we, we should able, be able to, to do, right? Mm -hmm. but, the, but, the, but the point I'm making is that the, the, the values should not, the values and wealth should not be mutually exclusive. Yeah. Right? So, I had to write in, uh, you know, when, when, when I was growing up, the, the, the men had to write in to the parents to, to, to court the daughters for marriage. Mm -hmm. And when you go by the house to court, uh, 
everybody there. You, you know, two hundred pounds. It was it was a little hanky panky. <laughs> No, it, it, it supervised. <laughs> it was, you know what I'm saying, and and, yeah. and those are some of the values. Mm -hmm. um, there was a there was an order, and but, on that point, as you said, well, that's exactly what I was going to say. It was about social respect. Yes, you know, and respect for family. Yeah, that's right. And, because and, if and, you have good intentions for her, you don't have nothing to her to be sneaking around in the dark with her, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so and so the, 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 that 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 those values was responsible for the cohesiveness that you're talking about mm -hmm. in the in the family unit and in the in the, in the community. Because mm -hmm. you know that's um, uh, Bell's daughter, and don't mess around with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to go up, go, mess around with Bell's daughter, you gotta you gotta marry her because some somebody else will tell you. Mm -hmm. About you messing with Bell Data. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and, and then the, the, other, the, other, the other thing was uh, when you, you know, I lost my train of thought right there. But. <laughs> <laughs> so you were going to make another moment. point. <laughs> See your okay, make a, I was going to make another point. In terms of the values. Yeah. It, yeah. The, 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 well, you, you talk. Okay. <laughs> you come back to me. Well, tying in the first segment of the show, we were talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. You know some of the, the current news stories and the behavior of our young children or right. young people right and you know you made a point of you know this isn't the bvi you grew up in because you had a, a certain level of self-respect so when we look again at national identity it's not just about saying okay we have a national dish we have a national flower and all these different types of things but again it goes back to who we are um we're industrious people we're creative people we're resilient people um because you know you had situations where I think it was in 1814 when you had a gay that came in and wiped out the place. And, you know, under any other circumstance, we probably would have had to pack up and go someplace. But, you know, all four fathers decided to stay mm -hmm. and keep going at it, that, that's you right. know, and it, be self-sufficient. Those, those are the types of values that, regardless of development, because we, we always go develop, we, we, we have to hold on to those things. Yeah. And it, 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 it came back, my thought came back to me. Okay, good. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Top quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The the order, mm -hmm. the order things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I was growing up, it, well, the, the the men, the older men in my the older boys in my community, mm -hmm. it was a situation where education was number one, right? Everybody in the community was made sure that you you got a good education. Mm -hmm. they, when you went to school, everybody it, it was it, it wasn't what your grade was. It was where you come, what position you were mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. class. Yeah. And at the end of each semester, they, for somehow the old people know when the semester. When it's all done, yeah. When it's all done, right? Yeah. When it, and it wasn't a real kind of semester then. <laughs> yeah. Then, when it all done. Right. And you know, you'd be walking on the road, Miss Ellen say, "With that, my, my, my punchy is my nickname. Mm -hmm. So punchy, where you come? Mm -hmm. When I come forth, Miss Ellen, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> You getting chastised right now? No, no, no. Fourth, you mm -hmm. punchy. You from East End, you know. You mm -hmm. Fourth, you know where mm -hmm. I come from. Fourth and East End, mm -hmm. you know. So you come lower and third, you you got you got to buck up, mm -hmm. right? So so, but the community was focused. So you you strive. The expectation was there for you uh, to, yes, to, you to, strive, to excel. You strive for success. Mm -hmm. Now, so you had to make sure that you get your education. Mm -hmm. So those persons who quote unquote were academically inclined, mm -hmm. when they came out of seventh standard. They went to my father, Mr. Mm -hmm. Van, to Mr. Ed, Mr. Edward, Mr. Osmond, mm -hmm. a, a bunch of people to teach them a trade. Mm -hmm. Right? And so, but, 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 you, but before you could go look a wife, you had to be able to demonstrate to the man, to the, uh, the, the daughter, yeah. the, the woman father, mm -hmm. how you going to take care of this woman. Mm -hmm. Right? So at that time we had land. So either the mother would give a piece of land or the father would give a piece of land, mm -hmm. and the, the, the man would build would build a house. So you you had an order. You you get your education. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you get your, your career in order. Mm -hmm. Your trade or whatever you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You're seen about building your house, and you look for a wife. Mm -hmm. Anytime you mess up in, in that order, right now. Mm -hmm. You have a problem in life mm -hmm. because the the, the the young ladies who are getting children before they get their education have a problem, mm -hmm. right? The young men who don't have no 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 trade, don't have no career, they have a problem getting a wife. Mm -hmm. And if they do get one, they have a problem. But then they skip that the part. They skip that part, and they already have children. And, yeah. So so anything that you did mm -hmm. that did not follow education, career home mm -hmm. wife mm -hmm. and family 
Yeah. You, 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 your, your experience, your, your life experience change com completely. Yeah. Things become more difficult for mm -hmm. you. The priorities, and that's one of the things where, again, regardless of development and, and prosperity, mm -hmm. material <clears throat> prosperity, there needs to be some things that are, are, you know, social shared values for the entire community as far as these are our priorities. These are what we're going to teach all young children, mm -hmm. right? That, you know, education is, is, is paramount and this is why. It isn't just about, okay, I need to put you someplace for eight hours every day. Right. And you go in there and hang out with your friends, but you are laying the foundation for your children because you need to be able to provide for them um, and their mother and give them a launching pad to be able to go out and be successful in life. You know, and I, I feel like if that is, that is a perspective that is taught, you know, from that angle, then we start to understand, I think, a lot better why it is important to have a, not just have a job, but the purpose behind of it. Because there's so much times you hear about, you know, young men, they get a job and then it's like three weeks later, it, you know, they, 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 they back on the corner saying that it's too hard. Yes. You know, but it's like this. This is something where you have to take responsibility for yourself. But but we're not saying we're not saying to the young people this is a stepping stone for your life. Mm -hmm. So your 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 job as a messenger mm -hmm. uh, is not who you're going to become. Mm -hmm. You you know you're beginning you are you are beginning yeah. a work that's entry career. level. That's why it's called yeah, entry level. level. Yeah, right. and so you are moving towards. A, a particular goal, a, mm -hmm. a particular career development path, yeah. and, and those are those are the values we had uh, back in back back in the day, mm -hmm. you know. And the whole thing too, I think uh, one of the notions we moved away from in terms of being an entrepreneur, you know, willing to go out and start your own business. We somewhere along the line we swallowed the theory of go work for somebody else and and prosper them. And me, where we were being held down by the men, we we're upset. But it's, it's because the, the, that thing has changed, you know, was what we followed. Everybody in my community was a business person. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this is what this is what has offended me so much about women's liberation, the mm -hmm. women's liberation movement. Mm -hmm. Because it's all women them are wrong, me running things. Mm -hmm. in, <laughs> so you say, what the problem is, right? What the problem is? All women them are wrong, me running things. Miss Helen got a store. Yeah. Anytime any you want anything, because Miss Helen's store, you got to get it. If you want any bread or anything, you got to go to Miss Helen mm -hmm. to get bread. Mm -hmm. you, want, you, you know, you got to go with Miss Baby to her shop. Yeah. So yeah. I see the woman in the community running things. I you know what this really liberation where 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 about, come right? from, right? <laughs> <laughs> and but we talk, remember we are talking about that in Moja too. Yeah. That's a European model that, that came about okay. that we were adopted. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. So we're going to take a break, right? Okay. Because I see the, the, the blink in the late. Blink, yeah. And, and Lord, I must, we need to have a couple of hours to talk about this. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. <laughs> and we're going to come back to your continue the discussion. Okay. <laughs> Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, and CCT Global Communications. Welcome back to Spotlight, you could tell I'm having a, a good time <laughs> with my good buddy, Shana Smith, my cousin from West End. <laughs> my sister, by a different mother. Yeah, that's another <laughs> branch of the tree. <laughs> another branch of the tree. <laughs> and we, we, you know, we're talking about, we're having a good time, but we're talking about, I think, things that are really, really Very important. important. And I don't like to talk off fair because mm -hmm. it's always difficult for me to, to bring what to continue talk, with us talking about. To talk about yeah. uh, back, back, back on, back on eh, you know. But the the, 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 the the community spirit that mm -hmm. that we so desire right now, mm -hmm. and we talk about, we we don't we haven't realized that those are things that have to be taught, mm -hmm. and, 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 and 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 talking about the order. We we when when we were growing up, when I was growing up, people all the men in the community, all the young men in the community could come to the other the young man who was building their house. Mm -hmm. We were building a house. They would come and they would uh, pitch they, in, hang out, and there was, it was like a hangout. It was mm -hmm. a lime. That was mm -hmm. a, that was the lime of the day. Mm -hmm. You go over, you eat, you, you drink your uh, uh, lime made in Marby, mm -hmm. and the women cook and, and the and, men walk. And, and, and the women cook and the men walk. Mm -hmm. And and by the time you know tutus, cause I would say tutus. The house done. The house done. <laughs> house done. The house done deal. Mm -hmm. You understand? He owed a bank. Mm -hmm. You, you, you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? And so that community spirit is what we long for now, yeah. but we gave that up. Yeah. We, gave, we, we allow materialism yeah. to interfere 
with those values. And, and, and I think we have to come to the decision that wealth and values are not mutually exclusive. Mm -mm. No, we, and, and that's the whole thing where you, as an individual, you have to have values. You have to have values that you live by. Otherwise, so that you're going to become basically a trend. So whatever the latest trend is, and is what you follow, and what you exact, adapt. And, that's exact, that's and exactly I think there was happening. a point in the 80s and 90s <clears> where we started to adopt American trends. Okay? Um, and this is one of the things we talk about in the survey as far as what do you think changed the, the culture in terms of persons migrating away. So we had to go away to different countries looking for work or for education. And we exposed to a different, another man's culture. But if our culture isn't deeply ingrained in us, basically indoctrinated, that regardless of where you go, that this is who you are as an individual. These are certain things that you, you hold as your compass. Yes. You put it like that. Yes. That regardless of where you are, these are the things that, that guide you. So that even whether you go and come, you come back home, you know, you know this is the environment in which we operate. This is how we move, you check. But the way so that we, we allow other cultures to, to move in. And again, because there's not a stronger Virgin Islands identity you know, it tends to become diluted and mixed. And that it would happen, I think, in any country, because I, I think you are hearing, even in a larger European countries, where the whole thing of a multicultural society is something that you're grappling with if you don't have a strong sense of identity. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, it's interesting because I'm, I, I'm just beginning to now think of myself as an old person, mm -hmm. right? Not, not in, 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 in... But you become in, an in, elder. In, yeah. Yeah. And, and because, <coughs> because a lot of the things that you're talking about, I, I, I've ha I have experienced. Mm -hmm. You're reading about it. I've yeah. experienced it. And mm -hmm. it's interesting uh, when you talk about going away to school mm -hmm. and having the values. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are things that happened to me. Mm -hmm. When I went to New York, right, uh, in 1964, 1969, there was a whole bunch of stuff that I could have gotten involved with. Mm -hmm. ne neg negative things, right? First of all, I went to the projects that were drug infested. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ghetto. I went to, the, to live in the ghetto, right? And I keep saying, and when I was, when I was, when I was something negative present itself, you know, you, you know, you know who are in the back of my mind? Miss Helen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I was saying. Miss Helen, Miss Baby, yeah. Miss uh, Miss Wendy. Because you don't want to disappoint them. You know, but it wasn't <laughs> even my mother, my father. No, the whole the, community. The whole community. What that of people? What is that people gonna say? Yeah. Punchy, punchy New York in the jail. Mm -hmm. Punchy New York and drugs. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Punchy guy in New York, he make nothing of himself. Yeah. Right? You hearing, you hearing these people in, in your head all the time, constantly because you heard them when you were at home. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up as a little boy going on the road, them people were the ones who mm -hmm. used to uh, chastise me. Mm -hmm. And when I go home, I get chastised again by my parents. Mm -hmm. Or corrected and corrected and corrected all through the community. Mm -hmm. So when I, when, I, when I leave the environment now, mm -hmm. I have that whole community mm -hmm. got my back. Yeah. You understand? I can't disappoint yeah. that community. The support that, is still there. That made me strong. That made me succeed. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, mm -hmm. I, and, 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 those and I think it's <laughs> important too to ensure there that it's not just about worrying about people's opinion, but it's about the society holding one another accountable. Yes. Okay? Because it's like saying, all, all societies or communities invested so much in us growing up. They made a lot of sacrifices. They the whole did. community would whole make sacrifices, sacrifices in order for that next generation to be able to move forward. Yes. You know? Because I would know where, you know, you have... So a child may go after school, but it's not necessarily the parents' choices making sure now that this child is able to, to pay the tuition. All that the whole community or the family, the extended family now might be pitching in to make sure that they're able to go out and get that degree so they could come home because they're looking at it as that child is going to come home now and you know, help elevate the family's position and make the community better. So it's all about that accountability, I think, is another value that where we held each other accountable if you're doing stupidness. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna harm you. Somebody gonna harm you. And Somebody we ain't gonna worry about your feelings. We gonna make up later. I, I tell my daughter, listen, the, BVA, <laughs> the, BVA, the, the people at the BVA investing a lot of money in you. You know that scholarship that you have with the people to tattoo the people money. You know mm -hmm. you can't go up New York and mess up the people their money. You mm -hmm. gotta bring that money back here mm -hmm. with in, 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 in knowledge, yeah. pack up in knowledge in a bundle. Yeah, <laughs> and that's nation building. In, in, yeah. Because it isn't just again about the individual. I think we become really selfish over the years, eh? Yes. Because again, it's not about me just going out, getting a degree so I can come back and make a lot of money. 
but it's about coming back and contributing to the, the building of my country. Yeah. What can I do for my country? Exactly. Yeah. When you come back, that way it should be on your mind. Mm -hmm. I, 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 somehow I came back a couple of um, months ago. I met somebody that came back and talked about, oh, you know, the country this, and you can't get this, and the mm -hmm. people, you know, ain't, ain't paying attention to you, and you got they got all this disqualification, mm -hmm. and, and 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 so on. And I had to say, I had to say to the to the person, I say, let me tell you something. <clears throat> when I came back home, I went to a company. I said, listen, I gonna give you three weeks. Free. Mm -hmm. I am I, I, qualified to do this. I'm going to give you three weeks free and you, I can work for you for nothing. Mm -hmm. And after three weeks, if you think I have value, mm -hmm. then, then pay me, let, then let's agree on a salary. Mm -hmm. I was working there for seven years. <clears throat> you understand? Mm -hmm. so, you, 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 so when I, when I came back, I came with I, the whole community paid my way for the 27 years I went to the States. Mm -hmm. the whole, the, 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 the Eastern community will give my father jobs to build houses, mm -hmm. will support me in college. So mm -hmm. even though I get a government scholarship, there's yeah. still a community that support me. Not supporting you, exactly. So, so I owe the community. Exactly. I owe the people at the BBI. Mm -hmm. and, this is the, and this is the value. That's the mindset. This is the That's value the that we grew up with. Then there are a lot of people, like, I'm not like an exception. Yeah, normally. Yeah, no. no there's mm -hmm. a lot of people who came up during that period of time, I think us who came up during that period of time have that same sense mm -hmm. of community spirit, of, of, of what I can do for my country yeah. and also what the country can do for me. Yeah, yeah. And, and that <clears throat> is so key as far as, again, going even further with establishing what we're saying as national pride. It's not so much about national pride, but about patriotism. Yes. You know, it's, it's about loving your country. And wanting to see the best. So it's like, regardless of what negative things we could point out, because no country is perfect. You could go to Switzerland, you could go to Singapore, where they're always anyway, singing praises, praises about. Right. There is always flaws within. But the whole thing is, is that, you know, you feel that the good is better, is, is more, it outweighs the bad. And we're going to work on where it is we, we can, we need to develop. But we're going to embrace what's good about us and we're going to keep working to strengthen it. And make sure that, again, that's passed on to the next the generation. generation. Because it's, it's, it has to be about legacy. It has to be about, you know, we, you, you mentioned earlier a segment where we are a Christian society. And I think now because of our multiculturalism, the diversity, we are a conservative society. In terms of the values that we hold, um, have been the bedrock of the society in terms of how we look at certain things, and that we need to continue that. So even in government, in policy decisions, um, you know, and different ideas in terms of what is the direction of our development, and when we ask the question about you know who we build in the country for. You know, biblical leaders, that's a biblical principle. They said a righteous man leaves a inheritance for his children's children. So we should never be sitting down to do something, planning as if it's yesterday. But mm -hmm. we are looking at two generations out. Yeah. But you know, you just, you, just, you just made an interesting statement there about uh, uh, being a conservative um, society. Mm -hmm. and, to, and to me, uh, my recollection is those terms uh, like liberal and conservative mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are terms that came about. They come in now. Yeah, came about <coughs> from from, mm -hmm. from again European American culture. Yeah, that you know that we, we, to to do what's right is mm -hmm. conservative, mm -hmm. and to allow anything goes mm -hmm. is liberal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And so if you if you lib if you liberal, you are politically correct. Mm -hmm. But if you conservative, you are uh, you're uh, standing for certain things. <laughs> and you ain't backing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you and, and you sort of like out of touch with mm -hmm. reality. Yeah. You know, conservative. That's how it's viewed, yeah. So 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 by so by putting this label mm -hmm. on on principles that were correct, mm -hmm. right? They are able now to make the principles seem as if something wrong Wrong with them. them. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then so now they got you they got you going crazy now trying mm -hmm. to be a liberal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and to fit and in. To, to, fit, to, 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 to fit a certain mold mm -hmm. and allowing um, all kind of degradation and, and, and confusion to mm -hmm. seep into your, your culture, yeah. turn your place bottom up mm -hmm. because you just want to do the right thing. Yeah. You, know, you want to fit in about the right thing. Because when you, when you come to accept certain things um, as being saying that that that's becomes the norm, and yes. uh, again, you have to, we have to draw lines and set boundaries for certain things and say this is, this is who we are as a society and you know, this is what we hold in fast too. So 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 I see the, the clock running running on running, running, running. they got it the, the, the count on me there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So so we have to start looking at the values mm -hmm. and, 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 and teaching those values, mm -hmm. okay, explaining what they are 
explaining the importance of the values to the society and, 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 and as a culture and not just the history. Yeah. So what is our heritage? No. What is our heritage? That's the question that yeah. we have to what answer. Our, yeah, we have to answer. What is our heritage? Mm -hmm. Our heritage, of course, is the, the, the values mm -hmm. that we inculcate. In addition our, to the traditions, as far as saying the funji music, music and what we do during Christmas. All those things are traditions. traditions right. You know, yeah. so that's yeah. where I think we yeah. really so have to find the, the, tra the traditions, mm -hmm. the values, the history all make up our culture that actually the history is only the recording yes. of those traditions and values mm -hmm. you know the mm -hmm. history is not the culture itself no and that's what we need to come not make the mistake yeah you know the history records the, the way we live yeah but the way we live included the values and the mm -hmm. principles that There's we uphold, all core uphold that our core things mm -hmm. and, and 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 the community spirit and all the, the, the way we behave as as people, mm -hmm. as we call it in our history, yeah, and we have to make those. We have to make those points, and yeah. we have to, uh, and we have to talk about it at home, in school, in the church, the government, you know, out on the block. It has to be a national conversation. I have to be honest with you. And, and and you certainly started the conversation. And I, I hope I, so. And, I, and I'm glad you went back in school. <laughs> I, I'm wondering, oh, what are you doing back in school? <laughs> you know me. I, I, I really believe in lifelong education, yeah. and it really was something that from time I heard we have VI history, and I learned started learning more about political history. That I realized I didn't know. I didn't know my history. Yeah. I didn't feel like I knew enough about my history. So I made a commitment that, hey, I need to go learn about myself. And then not just keep it to myself now, but to bring it to, out. Because yeah. I have access to that platform to, you know, to, to spike other people's interests, to want to know more too. Well, I, I think a, a, a plan would be to, 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 to segmentize it, segmentalize it, and, and so that we could, we could do it. In, mm -hmm. in regular segments all the time and yeah. have the conversation going mm -hmm. on, on Omoja and on Gelati Dialogues mm -hmm. and, and Spotlight, spotlight. Mm -hmm. and, and, just, and just just keep the conversation going because it's a conversation that I love I enjoy yeah. and, 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 and it's something that needs to be shared and, and like you listen all those list of topics you could just pick one topic at night and just come in and, and, just, and just dissect in, it and in, in, in dissect it and, mm -hmm. and, and show how it works and how it falls because we need we need to show the reasons for it yeah we cannot get it across it does not going to make any sense Mm -hmm. It's not going to make any sense. You cannot teach your facts and dates. We, can, we just can't <laughs> teach your facts and dates. Yeah. The, the facts and dates is the most boring thing I know. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I will remember the facts and dates if I have the story. Yes. You know? Exactly. So this, exactly right. It's always a pleasure to see you. Well, thanks for having me. Um, and definitely I'll be back to share the <clears throat> results of the paper mm -hmm. um, in terms of, because we have to look at, well, how do we, how do we go about fixing it? You know, if we feel that we're losing our culture, we feel that these are the reasons. What are the solutions? Because, yes. you know I me, mean, that's, that's always going to be, what are the solutions? Yes, yes, you have a problem, but what are the, the solutions? solutions. Yes. So we'll talk about that. And again, you know, hopefully it sparks, it continues to add fuel um, for we, persons to take ownership. Because this is not just government responsibility to craft a national identity. This, yes. is, this is on us yes. as a society to take ownership of, you know, I need to be more intentional as far as, okay, our holiday is coming up. Let me take my kids on a, their own field trip. Yes. Take them around to historical sites. Teach them what you do know. Yes. And in that too, also go out and learn more and continue to pass those things on to the, the next generation. Because from there, you know, they go to school, it gets reinforced and it just continues on that they learn about and, and who little they by are. Little, and little by little, the society changed and we bring back the culture yeah. that we once had. Yep. Good to see you. That's the idea. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a plan. Yeah. Yes, uh, certainly I'm glad, I'm glad you came and we had a re I had a really good time. I, I really enjoyed, enjoyed it. Spotlight is seen every Tuesday at 8 p.m. here on JTV Channel 55 and we broadcast on Sunday afternoons at 2.30. Watch Spotlight on Demand at jtvlive.net. You could uh, like our Facebook page, go over there, make suggestions in, uh, in, uh, on topics and on persons you'd like to see as, as guests. I'm Ed Juenka, reminding you that when the spotlight is on, you see the facts. Peace and blessings. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited, the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, and CCT Global Communications.